Hello, I'm William Friedkin, director of The Exorcist. The Exorcist is a film about the mystery of faith, and I think the fact that it's endured for more than 25 years now is due in large part to what it leaves you with after you've seen the film. It starts with a brilliant screenplay from an equally powerful novel by William Peter Blatty, and it's a story that can perhaps make you question your own value system, even your own sanity, because it strongly and realistically tries to make the case for spiritual forces in the universe, both good and evil. But what you may not be aware of is the fact that The Exorcist is based on a true story. It took place in Silver Spring, Maryland in 1949 and was widely reported by the American press. When I saw the files at Georgetown University pertaining to the actual case, I knew that this was going to be or needed to be something more than just another horror film. This had to be a realistic film about inexplicable events. I've always thought that a film should first of all be an emotional experience. It should make you laugh or cry or be scared. But it should also inspire and provoke you and make you reflect. Over the years, I think that most people take out of The Exorcist what they bring to it. If you believe that the world is a dark and evil place, then The Exorcist will reinforce that. But if you believe that there is a force for good that combats and eventually triumphs over evil, then you will be taking out of the film what we tried to put into it. In any case, turn down the lights, turn up the sound, and enjoy the digitally remastered version of The Exorcist.